On this channel, I often talk about solutions to the Fermi Paradox, including the zoo hypothesis, where aliens actively hide their presence from us. See my video on this channel on that topic. I've also covered the possibility of alien civilizations detecting Earth, but there is a further question to be asked there. Should we actively be hiding Earth from potential hostile alien civilizations? And if we eventually do, are there other species out there hiding from us? It has been said that very large Kardashev Type 2 and 3 civilizations, at least as how they are usually envisioned as energy-consuming mega-civilizations, would be impossible to hide. Conventional wisdom would state that they would produce huge amounts of waste heat that would be easily detected in infrared. So far, we haven't detected any alien waste heat, and that adds to the Fermi Paradox. But say, at some point, we did detect an alien civilization that happened to be close by, at least in terms of stellar distances, and it was clear somehow that they were not friendly. What would we do? The natural idea is to try to hide. It may seem impossible to hide an entire planet with an atmosphere that's so altered by life that it's a dead ringer, but as it turns out, there may be a way of cloaking Earth. This topic is covered in a 2016 paper by David Kipping and Alex Tichy, link in the description below. They detail that the best way to detect alien worlds and have a chance of studying their atmospheres directly is through the transit method and getting spectra as the planets pass in front of their star. Presumably, other civilizations practicing science are going to know about this method and likely take a look for other worlds with life, such as Earth. The authors detail that you could change the characteristics of the spectra for your planet by adding things into the spectrum artificially. One way to accomplish this is controlled laser light to alter the spectrum. In fact, the researchers note that they could cloak Earth from a Kepler-type spacecraft fairly straightforwardly using very little energy. And if you know that a civilization is trying to find out if you're there, say our hostile alien civilization nearby, then you would only need to cloak during the time that Earth was transiting the Sun from their perspective perspective. You may be asking how laser emissions could cloak a planet, since after all, they are one of the specific artificial things that SETI searches for, but that goes both ways. And that brings in the question of technology. Alien civilizations probably wouldn't put too much in the way of resources into detecting exoplanet transits, since most of them are going to be uninhabited pedestrian worlds. You only need Kepler-style photometry, though maybe a bit more powerful. The basic idea is that it looks for changes in the amounts of light coming from a group of stars observed over time and all at once, but not much else. You see the brightness drop, but you don't know what the characteristics of the light actually are. So the authors continue that if you turn on your laser and make your planet seem as bright as the star behind it, the aliens would not know that a planet is passing by, and likewise wouldn't follow it up. Even if you didn't get things quite right with the energy, you would just appear as a very small planet that is unlikely to be able to host life. An interesting point for sure, and one wonders how many cloaked planets Kepler might have missed. The researchers note that laser light might also be tweaked to fool spectrometers and hide any bio or techno signatures on a planet. This has the advantage of being even lower energy, but can also help cover other indirect methods of detecting our planet, such as the gravitational effects of Earth on the Sun. The aliens, hypothetically, could be fooled into seeing a world with little or no atmosphere orbiting the Sun and thus dismiss Earth as uninhabitable. There is also a communications aspect to this. If you change the light into an unnatural form, then this could be used as an effective, lower energy method of communicating with another civilization, so long as you know it's there. Similar to the concept of blocking starlight with baffles, an alien civilization wishing to announce its presence might distort their transit signal so much that it can't be natural, and that by searching past data we might just pick up one of these types of civilizations, opening yet another avenue for SETI. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, and be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.